So this was one of the most challenging cases we have done till now. Hi, I'm here uh, to talk about the journey that uh, we went through for my mother, Ethel Mendonca, for her surgery for valve replacement. The doctors were investigating her case and while they were investigating, they found that a big challenge of accessing the artery. So the patient had severe aortic stenosis with one of the walls of her heart severely stenosed and that was causing all her symptoms like breathlessness, chest pain, blackening in front of eyes. She had kidney issues, she was allergic to a lot of medicines, she was allergic to blood transfusions and this made the procedure even more complicated. With all this, we decided that we are going to take her up for TAVI or transcatheter aortic wall implantation. Before that, we did her CT scan. When I saw the CT report, I was like, how are we going to do this case? Because to do a TAVI, you have to go through the arteries which are present in your leg. But in this case, there was a stent which was there on the right side. There was a graft which was there on the left side. So we could not have done TAVI to the leg arteries. The hand arteries, the left side had a pacemaker and there was a tight block on the left side. On the right side, normally your right artery comes straight across and goes to your heart. But in her case, there was an anomalous artery. That means the right artery went right across round and then went into the heart. So it was very difficult to do a TAVI through such access. So the only access we had was to go through the neck arteries, which are called as the carotid arteries. So this is one of the most dangerous accesses to have because that's the artery which goes from your heart to your brain and supplies your brain. So if anything happens to this artery, you might do the procedure well, but the patient might then end up with a stroke or paralysis. So what we decided is to have a multidisciplinary approach. That means we involved a cardiac surgeon who would cut upon the artery so as to allow us access to go through it. We involved the neurologist who said, we do a CT scan to document that the circulation in the brain is normal that if something happens to the artery on this side, there is a circulation which is there, which could come from the opposite side. So we documented that. Every detail, every bit of planning was done. And every scenario was factored in and a bailout for each scenario was also planned. This was one of the first cases done in Asia Pacific, especially with this valve. And then finally the D-Day came. Everything went as per plan. We were able to access the carotid artery, deploy the wall with a pristine location with fabulous results and post-op the patient was moving all the four limbs very well. There was no stroke on day one, day two post-op. We kept the patient for a few days. Patient required some blood transfusions but post that the patient did fantastic. We discharged the patient within the next four or five days. My mother is here she is you know with us and she is able to manage her day to day activities and that was my objective to make her come back on her feet everybody has been very helpful they have taken care of my mother uh, and in a, in 10 days time i think she was back home hale and hearty she is walking she is talking and i can see her that she has indeed got a new life she we would have lost her but she has you know recovered and she is here with us with my family I think my family is very happy to have her with us today in the new year. And that's the beauty of this procedure. It blows up this life in the days of the patient and makes the life so beautiful. Thank you.